So we talk about twin flames and all this other kind of stuff. I can tell you that majority of people who think they know anything about twin flames is absolutely 100%, 10,000% wrong, right? Which is why I really don't like using the word anymore. The proper word for it is divine partnership, in my opinion. And a divine partnership is starkly different from twin flames, but people who are ordained to be in divine partnerships went through what many people call twin flame unions because you had to learn a vital lesson. You as well as your true divine partner or counterpart, whatever you want to call it, divine, masculine, feminine, whatever. They went through the same thing that you went through, right? Now, people who have been in situations, it's like the tables are turning. It's almost as if the timeline that we are on now technically is distorted, but in a good way. Because you know how people always say like, good girls like bad boys. And how is it that dudes like that or chicks like that always end up with females or dudes like that? That timeline has shift. So now good girls like good boys and the bad boys and the bad girls, they ending up together so they could just be fucked up together. You know what I'm saying? About goddamn time, right? I'm saying. But anyway, so I understand why Spirit had me pull this. You guys are going through an epic purge so that you can align with your highest truth so that you and this person can come together. You guys are about to experience love in its truest sense. Like what it really looks like, what a healthy relationship really looks like, what reciprocity really looks like. It's no more of this bullshit that people have been dealing with. Goddamn trauma bonds and stuff. People treating you like shit, ghosting you and calling that love. What kind of bullshit is that? Dog, don't get me started. That's why I wrote a whole goddamn book about this. You understand me? Lord have mercy, Jesus. How the hell does somebody mentally, verbally, not so much physically, but mentally, verbally, and emotionally abuse you and we calling that love now? 